Welcome back guys. Um, today I wanted to revisit my past video and actually talk about the faction specifics of Chaos uh, as they relate in general and as they relate to the character that I will be using, Pandox Ultra. Um, Chaos is the white faction. You could tell that by their white Bakugan and the white line cards. Um, they are a momentum and control based faction. So what that means as it pertains to them is that they will be manipulating Baku cores, whether that is pulling them off the field or pulling them off the other Bakugans to make them stronger. Um, their card mechanic is domination. And I can show you that uh, with the card Light Courage right here. Um, as you can see, Domination, if you're Bakugan, hold the most Baku cores, plus 800 Bs instead, instead of the 400, obviously. Um, so what this means is that all of the cores that your team holds uh, account for this. So if I have three characters on my team, and, three are all, and all three are open and they all have Baku cores, they all get counted towards this Domination total. And if I have more than the enemy team, then I win. Because obviously you could pull, uh, you could pick up one or two of these with each roll. So that's good. Um, so obviously with domination, you're going to be wanting more cores. So I think cards such as consort um, over here would be really, really good for it because you could attach a Baku core from the field to an open Bakugan. So it's again, building off the domination mechanic. So you could make sure you have more uh, Baku cores. Now as it pertains to Pandox Ultra, how this is going to work is as you guys can see, uh, he will come out in the fourth turn. He's a four energy card, so fourth turn. He has 800 Bs and three damage, but he treats all Baku cores attached to your other Bakugan as, as though they are attached to this. So he has built-in domination mechanic to where he is pulling in all the strength of all the Baku cores on his entire team. So probably have to roll him last. So making sure you have the most Baku cores available to you so you could add more damage to him. Um, uh, the Chaos uh, playstyle uh, is weak against uh, chaotic and random playstyles. So what that means is like sacrifice from Darkest. Uh, they're gonna be sacrificing their cards to give themselves more power. So they don't really rely on Baku cores. Um, so it's something to look out for. They're strong on defense and obviously they could manipulate Baku cores as I showed you with Consort. Um, they're, they're, uh, they also bring to the game a uh, ability called Frost Strike. Um, basically what that means is Frost Strike plays um, like if, if your player reveals a flip card on their defense, they have to pay a, a certain amount of energy more to play that card and the more energy that they have to pay would be equal to the frost strike so if you have a frost strike two on your card it would say here um the opposing player would have to pay two extra on top of their flip card cost to pay for that defense so it's actually really good to uh make your opponent lose more cards uh and energy for defense so you could make sure that maybe defenses won't go through and you could do more damage or you can make them burn more energy which is good uh, Pandox Ultra brings two shields to the table. These are the two shields I'll be using. Um, they are plus 300 Bs and plus 150 Bs and plus one damage. So these are like the only ones I have that, that seem pretty good. I didn't want to put in any traps in my deck, so I think these will be good. And with other bonuses in my deck, I think I'll, I'll be able to make a pretty strong a push for him for him especially since he's a b power of 700 right away so plus his 300 core that's a thousand and that's going to be pretty hard plus all my uh damage that i bring on with cards so yeah as you can see chaos is the controlly type again they manipulate the baku cores on the field or in on your on your bench to make their character stronger so you're going to be looking for a lot of cards that will play off that mechanic or anything that'll give you the ability to give yourself more Baku cores. And I think that's the main strategy you're gonna to wanna to play for the Chaos Faction. Anyways, I think that kind of sums it up. I hope you all enjoyed and look out for my next video, which will cover either Darkus or Pyrus next. So I will be bringing the three teammates that I have in mind for them and comparing them in the same way that I have with this just now in more detail so we don't have to do this again. 
Uh, again, I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Thank you.